chilling. Look what I see on TV, man. Do you see these people, man? Niggas just in blackface, you know? This is the so-called white man right here, man. The pride of the so-called white man. He letting it know what it is, you know what I'm saying? Look at that. He letting it know what it is, you know? Jake better wake up. Look at that. <laughs> Take the head off. <laughs> yeah, Jake better wake up, man. You better know what time it is, man. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah. I want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and citation to you, Lord Akiyam, the house of David, by Yahweh kicking this word in sincerity and in truth. It's the brother Sha'ar from the Great Millstone Dallas camp, and I just want to do a quick hit of rapid fire going into how our enemies clap their hands at us, they hiss at us, they say all type of manner of wicked to us. Okay, and with them even saying this, you know, they, they actually place the axes before they say this, okay? Esau is the same devil that'll say they love you, that'll say love everybody, but when you look at the history, when you look at the stuff that's, that they've done, the fruit of their labors, they completely go contrary to what they so-called say. You know what I mean? The Lord had showed us on numerous occasions that this is the wicked. He showed us on um, numerous occasions that these men are against us, man. All right. These men are our friends. They're not here for us. They've never been here for us, man. Now, on the contrary, we know we have there are certain Israelites that might look like Edomites, that might look like Elamites, that might look like Ammonites, so forth, because ultimately this thing goes down to the spirit. But you can see Esau, man, you see the devil's horns going forth over their faces, man. Look at the condition you Jake's are in, man. With that being the case, it's our job to profess this. It's our job to teach this, to expose this devil. All right, like Paula said, the mystery of the the Salaki, the mystery of iniquity, has already been known. You know, loosely paraphrasing, and the mystery of iniquity is Esau, man, that man of sin that's been revealed. Okay, so um, I just want to go to Lamentations chapter two, and I'm gonna start at verse 15. This this video was really inspired by one of the brothers of my camp, Micah Allah, who had sent the video, and um, you know, Lord willing, I'll play it before this video here, man. But it just goes into how this devil blatantly does stuff in your face man all right now it's an older video but it don't matter man it's still how they feel about you to the day okay when you look at black culture when you look at the pop culture now and you see esau doing what they're doing they're really copying off of us man but they're also laughing in our faces as well okay so um this is um lamentation chapter 1 verse 15 and it says all that pass by clap their hands at thee they hiss and wag their head at the daughter of jerusalem saying this the man that men call the perfection of beauty joy the whole earth okay these are the same men that said raise it when you go to psalms chapter 137 all right those are the same men that are saying this whenever they clap their hands they look at you and make that statement man they know dang well that our people are desolate right now but when you go according to the scriptures we're supposed to be the most beautiful people on the planet earth Okay, we're supposed to have have the the, uh, the ways of the Heavenly Father in us, man, pursuing the Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter. But when you look at what's been going through us, when you look at the curses, man, everything the Lord said he was going to do to us on the, on the right hand side. And since we fell off from the Lord, man, he put all those curses upon us. And now our enemies ruling over us and they hiss at us and laugh at us, man. All right. Verse 16 says, all thine enemies have opened their mouth against thee. They hiss and gnash the teeth. They say we have swallowed her up. Certainly this is the day that we looked for. We have found, we have seen it. And this is because, the reason why they think like this because this is a long ongoing battle that's been going on since the beginning of time within itself. Going all the way back to Cain and Abel, man. How Cain envied Abel because of the sacrifice that Abel had gave to the Heavenly Father, all right? This goes all the way back to that and then it, and then it reincarnated in the Jacob and Esau and you see it going off and so forth, man. So with them doing this to us, acting like this to us, one is because one of the curses and also to the Lord is so cold that he's using Esau's blessing against them, man, because he gave them the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven. He gave them the power right now to have on the left hand side and within them having that power, they're hissing at us and they're pretty much showing their so-called strength to have over us because the Lord isn't with all of us, man. But hey, call Halal Yahabah Shimmy Shai for the elect, man. Call Halal Yahabah Shimmy Shai for the remnant. Because at the end of the day, the Lord is going to fight for his remnant. We're just going to suck at times. You're going to feel like choking Esau out on the cages, man. But at the end of the day, this is the Heavenly Father's fight, not ours. He's going to fight with us when it's due time. All right. 
but yeah man that's pretty much all i wanted to go into on that lord willing it was edifying again just wanted to do a quick hit rapid fire again i want to give all praise to yahweh by shim yahweh shai want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders of great millstone that rule well in peace and salutation to your elect akim the house of david by yahweh kicking his word of sincerity and truth shalom Lamentations 2 How hath the Lord covered the daughter of Zion with a cloud in his anger, and cast down from heaven unto the earth the beauty of Israel, and remembered not his footstool in the day of his anger? The Lord hath swallowed up all the habitations of Jacob, and hath not pitied. He hath thrown down in his wrath the strongholds of the daughter of Judah. He hath brought them down to the ground. He hath polluted the kingdom and the princes thereof. He hath cut off in his fierce anger all the horn of Israel. He hath drawn back his right hand from before the enemy, and he burned against Jacob like a flaming fire, which devoureth round about. He hath bent his bow like an enemy. He stood with his right hand as an adversary, and slew all that were pleasant to the eye in the tabernacle of the daughter of Zion. He poured out his fury like fire. The Lord was as an enemy. He hath swallowed up Israel. He hath swallowed up all her palaces. He hath destroyed his strongholds, and hath increased in the daughter of Judah mourning and lamentation. And he hath violently taken away his tabernacle as if it were of a garden. He hath destroyed his places of the assembly. The Lord hath caused the solemn feasts and sabbaths to be forgotten in Zion, and hath despised, in the indignation of his anger, the king and the priest. The Lord hath cast off his altar. He hath abhorred his sanctuary. He hath given up into the hand of the enemy the walls of the palaces. They have made a noise in the house of the Lord, as in the day of a solemn feast. The Lord hath purposed to destroy the wall of the daughter of Zion, he hath stretched out a line. He hath not withdrawn his hand from destroying. Therefore he made the rampart and the wall to lament. They languished together. Her gates are sunk into the ground. He hath destroyed and broken her bars. Her king and her princes are among the Gentiles. The law is no more. Her prophets also find no vision from the Lord. The elders of the daughter of Zion sit upon the ground and keep silence. They have cast up dust upon their heads. They have girded themselves with sackcloth. The virgins of Jerusalem hang down their heads to the ground. Mine eyes do fail with tears. My bowels are troubled. My liver is poured upon the earth. For the destruction of the daughter of my people, because the children and the sucklings swoon in the streets of the city. They say to their mothers, Where is corn and wine? When they swooned, as the wounded in the streets of the city, when their soul was poured out into their mother's bosom. What thing shall I take to witness for thee? What thing shall I liken to thee, O daughter of Jerusalem? What shall I equal to thee, that I may comfort thee, O virgin daughter of Zion? For thy breach is great like the sea. Who can heal thee? Thy prophets have seen vain and foolish things for thee and they have not discovered thine iniquity to turn away thy captivity, but have seen for thee false burdens and causes of banishment. All that pass by clap their hands at thee. They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem, saying, Is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth? All thine enemies have opened their mouth against thee. They hiss and gnash the teeth. They say, We have swallowed her up. Certainly this is the day that we looked for. We have found, we have seen it. The Lord hath done that which he had devised. He hath fulfilled his word that he had commanded in the days of old. He hath thrown down and hath not pitied. And he hath caused thine enemy to rejoice over thee. He hath set up the horn of thine adversaries. Their heart cried unto the Lord, O wall of the daughter of Zion, let tears run down like a river day and night. Give thyself no rest. Let not the apple of thine eye cease. Arise, cry out in the night, 
In the beginning of the watches pour out thine heart like water before the face of the Lord. Lift up thy hands toward him for the life of thy young children, that faint for hunger in the top of every street. Behold, O Lord, and consider to whom thou hast done this. Shall the women eat their fruit, and children of a span long? Shall the priest and the prophet be slain in the sanctuary of the Lord? The young and the old lie on the ground in the streets. My virgins and my young men are fallen by the sword. Thou hast slain them in the day of thine anger. Thou hast killed and not pitied. Thou hast called as in a solemn day my terrors round about, so that in the day of the Lord's anger none escaped nor remained. Those that I have swaddled and brought up hath mine enemy consumed.